my philosophy about teaching is that it should be as experiential as possible. I know that's how I learn best. As a creative person, I think most people learn best by doing. Movements in World Cinema Part 1 is a film history class. It gives you a broad perspective on cinema from the silent era up until 1960. The focus of the class is really on what are the social, economic, political movements that gave rise to films in those particular global regions at the time. It was actually an absolute blast. Um, I've taken world cinema classes before and I was kind of hesitant about the whole online environment, but it ended up being great. As far as the technology behind the new school classes, it's absolute cutting edge. You're able to see, hear, and talk, and discuss just as if you were sitting across the table from somebody. When I can see the technologies being utilized in a way that's an effective learning tool, I'm on it. It's really engaging and it's really fascinating. I try to recreate a learning environment within the online portal that it's really quite easy. It's very user friendly. The voice thread is a method where I can give my lectures in a verbal lectures. format. Early cinema and it's all And students can listen in. They can also respond. First question that I'm going to discuss for this week. What we would do is vocally record on our computer our answers. And it was very, very interesting to add a vocal element to your classmates and your peers to actually hear what they were saying. And there was lots of interaction between students and then between the professor and the students. African American cinema. And then I do three on-site synchronous classes. People who are in New York, we meet in a classroom. People who are elsewhere in the universe meet online. We've even done group projects over the synchronous on-site sessions. You're learning the process of building team and how to work across these technologies at the same time that you're actually doing it. There's something that's inspiring about working with people that are like-minded and who are working towards something bigger and grander. The online environment affords the busy student the opportunity to learn on their own timeline. People have jobs, people have families, they travel. I decided to go to Italy and wherever I was, as long as the hotel or a cafe had Wi-Fi, I could be in the classroom at the same time. I was traveling to Spain because my film was playing at this film festival. Over the course of this trip, I was doing my schoolwork at nighttime finishing classes and succeeding in them and to be able to log on, you know, across the world in an entirely different time zone and do your schoolwork, it was tremendously helpful. In the online environment, you have the opportunity to really go at your own pace, learn as much as you want to learn, go as in-depth as you want to go. And we're finding that people may not be able to be on campus all the time, especially with the economy and their job situations. And so it really does help to have as many options as possible. When you're in school, life doesn't stop. Things happen. You have experiences outside the classroom that affect you. And one of the reasons why online classes appealed to me was because I could continue with my life and, and still be a full-time student.